Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be looking at the four most underrated perks in Fallout 4. Now the first perk I want to talk about is called Awareness, and this one reads, To defeat your enemies, know their weaknesses. You can view a target's specific damage resistances in VATS. Now this perk is really important to me because it gives me extra information on the enemies I'm up against. And if you're playing on survival difficulty, this is probably one of the most important perks to get. And as the description of this perk reads, you can view the target's specific damage resistances, but you can also view their level too. And being able to view an enemy's level is the most useful thing about this perk. It especially comes in handy when you're targeting enemies in VATS, and you want to know how many shots to target an enemy for. If you see an enemy as level 5 in VATS, you really don't need to do that much damage to them to kill them. But if you see an enemy as level 50 or 75, then you know you have to do a lot more damage. Now this perk is also really useful at low levels, because if you come across an enemy with a skull next to their name, you know they're at least 10 levels above your level, but you don't know exactly how strong they are. So this perk can also help you figure out whether it's a good time to fight or a good time to run away. And the last thing I want to bring up about this perk is the damage resistances, and this basically tells you what weapon to use and what weapons to not use. Generally speaking, enemies have a lower tolerance to ballistic weapons than energy weapons. But in some cases, the energy weapons do far less damage than ballistic weapons. So you can actually see that in VATS, and then you can change your weapon accordingly. Now the next perk I want to talk about is called Sneak. And I think Sneak is one of the most powerful perks in the game. And I believe this because for simply entering Sneak mode, you can do double damage with any weapon at any range. And I actually think Sneak is a little bit better than Ninja, because Sneak affects how many enemies you can get a stealth kill on rather than Ninja just affects how much damage you do to one enemy before you're spotted. So I think it's better to have Sneak at rank 5 and Ninja at rank 0 than Sneak at rank 0 and Ninja at rank 3. I think overall you can actually do more damage with a higher Sneak rather than a higher Ninja. But a little bit more about Sneak, once you get to ranks 2 and 3, you no longer trip enemy traps or mines at all. Rank 4 grants that running in Sneak mode no longer affects stealth, and I think rank 5 of Sneak is really interesting because this means if you have an enemy a certain distance away from you and you go into Sneak mode, they instantly lose you and you become hidden. So if you do a lot of sniping in this game, I would say Sneak rank 5 is definitely something for you. And another detail about Sneak is when you have it up to a certain rank, enemies just stop noticing you in really obvious places, and you can be as close as 20 or 30 feet from an enemy out in the open and they just won't notice you. If you combine this with a chameleon piece of armor that makes you invisible, or a stealth boy, you can actually have enemies walk straight past you without seeing you. So I think Sneak is a great perk because it packs a lot of bonuses into just one perk, and then once you get it to rank 5, you're basically invisible to enemies. Now the next perk I want to talk about is called Action Boy, and if you have played Fallout for multiple years, you know that the Action Boy perk was in multiple Fallout games, so it's kind of a staple for the Wasteland at this point. But anyway, Action Boy grants you 25% faster AP regeneration per every rank you get. So at rank 3, you have 75% increased AP regeneration. Now admittedly, I don't even have this perk yet, but I think a lot of people, including myself, have greatly underestimated the power of Action Boy. Now if you actually just think about if your AP regenerated 75% faster, this basically just means you can shoot a lot more targets in VATS, and you can sprint and use your jetpack a ton more too. And if you pair Action Boy with Grim Reaper's Sprint, you actually have a chance of restoring all your action points for every kill you get in VATS. So that combination sounds pretty deadly, especially if you're a heavy VATS user. Now the last perk I want to mention is called Quick Hands, and this says in combat there's no time to hesitate, you can reload all guns faster. And I think this perk is particularly underestimated because people don't know how much faster you reload all your guns. I haven't done any serious testing, but I would say you reload your gun about 20 to 40% faster. Now even if it just was a 20% increase, you'd still be surprised at how fast you would reload. I recently got the overdrive servos on my power armor legs that let me run 20% faster, and it honestly seems like I run twice as fast. The same thing happened to me when I spec'd into rank 1 of quick hands. I just saw a huge difference on all the reloading times of all my weapons. And if you watch my other videos, you'd know I use the laser musket quite a lot, and quick hands at rank 1 actually decreases the amount of time it takes to crank a fusion cell into the laser musket. 
So if you don't use laser muskets because you hate the amount of time it takes to crank all six rounds into it, I would highly suggest you get quick hands because it feels like that cuts the time in half. So I think quick hands is a great perk because it's a minor change to the game, but it's actually a huge change to your gameplay as a result. So yeah guys, those are the four most underrated perks that I've seen in Fallout 4, and generally just the perks that people miss out on. If you have a different list than me, make sure you leave it down in the comments section below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. Also, make sure you like and share the video as it greatly helps out its performance. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Got a doll, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she's anything but.